I'm Luke Copland. I'm a professor of glaciology uh, here in the Department of Geography at the University of Ottawa. As a kid, I mean, I grew up on the coast in England. I mean, we, we had snow rarely, maybe once in five, once in ten years. And I think perhaps it was that rareness of seeing snow that made me really excited about it. I've been very fortunate. I work on glaciers primarily now for research in the Canadian Arctic, the high Arctic like Ellesmere Island, Torney National Park and the Yukon as well. The glaciers there are really big in terms of their length. Uh, they can be 40, 50 miles long. They can be in places 3,000, 4,000 feet thick. When we look at the contribution of those glaciers to global sea level rise, they're, they're super important. We're attributing around a quarter of total global sea level rise in the last couple of decades. So it's just a huge store of ice that's really important globally. We have GPS stations that are installed on the ice and every year we go back, we service the stations, we download the data and with that we're able to track the movement of the glaciers, see how fast they flow from year to year. I guess the, the political question why glaciers are important is that populations rely on the fresh water and melt water that comes out of glaciers. There's going to be less drinking water, I guess, yeah. That's one. Two, there's storage of water, so if they do start melting more, obviously sea level rise, we're going to lose quite a bit of coastline in certain areas. So just on the, you know, on the scale of human lifetimes or less, within one generation or less, not only are we losing glaciers, but we're rapidly increasing the rate of loss of glaciers. We can clearly look back the last couple of tens of thousands of years in the Yukon, uh, Central Elias, Alaska region, uh, and see that climate change.